Join me as I examine the signs of being the scapegoat in your family and see if they apply to me. The concept of the family scapegoat refers to a member of the family who is consistently blamed, criticized, or ostracized by the others, often for things they didn't do or have control over. This dynamic can have a profound impact on family relationships and individual well-being. Growing up as the scapegoat can be incredibly draining and demoralizing. You're constantly on edge, walking on eggshells, never knowing when the next criticism or attack will come. It's like living in a perpetual state of hypervigilance, always looking for potential threats or conflicts. You start internalizing the negative labels and messages, questioning your worth and identity. As a scapegoat, you may experience intense emotional pain, feelings of isolation and loneliness, and a deep-seated sense of shame or guilt. You might develop anxiety or depression, struggling to cope with the constant criticism and rejection. You may even internalize the negativity, believing that you're the problem or something fundamentally wrong with you. Moreover, being labeled a scapegoat can limit your personal growth and development. You may feel stuck in a perpetual state of crisis management, constantly trying to put out fires and appease others rather than pursuing your own goals and aspirations. Do you often feel misunderstood, like no one gets your perspective or point of view? Do you take on the emotional labor of others, carrying the weight of their feelings and problems on your shoulders? Do you feel like you're always apologizing, even when you haven't done anything wrong? If so, you might be experiencing life as a family scapegoat. Another common sign is being blamed for things that aren't your fault or responsibility. Maybe you're constantly accused of being lazy or irresponsible, even when you're working hard and doing your best. Or perhaps you're expected to take on all the emotional labor, soothing others' hurt feelings or calming their tempers. The impact on mental health can be severe, leading to anxiety, depression, or even complex trauma. If you're struggling with these issues, it's important to seek professional help. You may feel like you're living in a constant state of fight or flight, always on high alert, waiting for the next attack or criticism. But with the right support, you can learn to manage these feelings and heal from the trauma. Breaking the cycle of being a scapegoat requires self-advocacy and a deep understanding of your own worth and value. You must recognize that you're not the problem, the issue lies with family dynamics and the way others are treating you. You must learn to set healthy boundaries, prioritize your own needs, and communicate assertively. It's crucial to recognize that you're not alone. Many people have been in your shoes and have broken free from the scapegoat role. Change is possible, and you, too, can break free and create a more fulfilling, authentic life for yourself. Remember, recognizing scapegoat behavior is just the first step. The next step is taking action, seeking support, and advocating for yourself. You're not alone in this journey, and reaching out for help can make a significant difference in your life. Thanks for watching. If you've experienced being the scapegoat in your family, leave a comment below and share your story. If you want to learn more about family dynamics and personal growth, be sure to check out my other videos.